Improvisation, all right? It's competitive because we have four competitors up here wearing different shapes, numbers, and colors. They're going to be competing for points, they're going to be competing for laughs, and they're, of course, going to be competing for your love. Oh, uh, nice. That's a performance really want. His daddy never hugged them. Um, and it's improvisation because everything you see up here on the stage we made up right before your very eyes, completely unscripted, okay? And I said to be participating in this because indeed you will be. Um, throughout the night, we're gonna be coming out to you and asking for suggestions to use in our different games. Those suggestions will inspire what we do up on stage here. So we'll practice how to give suggestions here real quick so you know kind of what you're doing. Uh, over here, you guys are my right side. Hi, right side. Love it. All right, right side, very good. Right side, shout out your favorite number. Seven. Seven, 17, and 14. Cool, that's uh, 20 million, cool. Um, over here, you guys are my left side. Hi, left side. Hello. All right, left side, very good. Uh, left side, give me your favorite color. Green. Green. Green, purple, and blue. Perfect. That's like a, a brownish, grayish mix. Cool. Um, and that is how suggestions work, right? When I ask for them, just shout them out loud, shout them out proud, shout them out clearly, because I can only use the suggestions that I understand, okay? Uh, suggestions of don't mean anything and uh, kind of remind me of signs of the lamb a little bit. So um, that is exactly how the suggestions will work. Now, one of the other things that we're going to need here tonight, because this is a competition, we need judges. So, I am going to need three people who feel that they are fairly judgmental. So, oh. who's... <laughs> you raised your hand. I think you can have one. Uh, let's see, this gentleman back here is raising his hand. There you go. And uh, how about this young lady right back here as well? There you go. job here tonight will be, from time to time, I will come to them, I will ask them who is going to get the points in a particular game, okay? Uh, now, the rest of you are going to be able to influence these judges in whatever means necessary, be it uh, just yelling and screaming or uh, offering them bribes like real judges or just, you know, just influencing them any way that you can, okay? I'll give you a chance to do that as well. But since this is uh, round four of the Improv Madness tournament, it is an official Comedy Royale match. We do need to swear the judges in. So judges, please take that paddle, hold it up in your right hand, and repeat after me. <laughs> I swear. I 
Swear. Good enough. Put them down. Um, <laughs> so each of these people has a different uh, thing on their paddles. Okay, one of them has shapes. Who's my shape judge? Who's shape judge? Very good. Right down here. Colors, black and gold. Very good color judge, and that means you must be the number judge in the back there. Very good. So you can see the different shapes, colors, and numbers up here, and uh, that will kind of dictate how they play, and you will then be dictating who gets those points. Very good. So um, that is how the judging is going to work. That is how the suggestions are going to work. Hopefully you all understand that. Uh, in case you don't understand my job up here, I am the host. I will be keeping time for the different games we'll be playing. Uh, I will also be talking with uh, our very own Mr. Microphone over there. Everybody say, hey, Mr. Microphone. Hey, Mr. Microphone. How's it going over there? That's Top of the morning to you, Matt. You okay, thanks. That's, that's all I've got. It's not that's morning nice. at all either, but that's, that's yeah, cool. Um, so what Mr. Microphone's going to be doing over there, he's, uh, he's wearing some uh, flashing, uh, that's uh, kind of... <laughs> giving me a headache. I got me Guinness. Um, and Guinness as well, yeah. perfect. Uh, it's very Irish here tonight. Um, we'll be using a special Gaelic scoring system. Oh, will we? Yes. <laughs> Can, do you want to explain it? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> um, I'll, be, uh, I'll be letting him know how many points to put on our scoreboard up here. This is how we'll be keeping track of who is uh, winning. And the winner here tonight, as was mentioned earlier, will move on to the Improv Madness Finals. That's Friday, March 25th at 8 p.m. If you'd like to come see that show and see all four of the competitors from the first three rounds and tonight, uh, the winner of each of those uh, matches is gonna play against each other to see who is the ultimate champion for Comedy Royale uh, 2016. Ooh. I know. Ah. Ah. Yeah, right? I know. It's <laughs> amazing. Um, Cool. So yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be uh, dictating the score. I'll be keeping the time, and um, I'll also be uh, calling any fouls that I see occur because um, we want this to be a nice, clean match. All right, cool. all right, very good. I did take a weapon off one of them earlier, so we'll just have to. You think I'm joking, but there was this little tiny knife. Um, I don't know where it came from, it but came anyway, from a game of clue. it came from a game of clue. <laughs> well, never mind. It probably wouldn't have hurt anybody. Except Colonel Mustard. Uh, all right, whatever. <laughs> I should have said Mr. Green, because it's St. Patrick's Day. Uh, the jokes are a flying. Woo-wee! Yikes. Um, okay. <laughs> let's get this thing rolling here and actually uh, let the real comedians do some work. Um, we're going to start off with a game that we call World Without a Letter, and that's going to put the black team against the gold team. What's going to happen here is we're going to put uh, one player from each uh, team on the stage. They're going to be doing a scene. But um, I'm going to go over here to the right side. I'm going to go to uh, this gentleman here. Hi, what's your name? John. John. And uh, John, does that end with an N? Yeah. Everybody give it up for John. And then go over to this side over here and go to um, this young lady right here. Hi, what is your name? Liz. Liz. And that starts with a L. L. All right, very good. Give it up for Liz, everybody. So I'm going to take those two letters. I'm going to take N and L, right? And uh, we're going to start with N. And N is going to be a letter that the players are not allowed to say any word that contains the letter N, okay? If they do say a word that contains the letter N, they will be rotated out, the other member of their team will take over, and the scene will continue, okay? But if you hear them say a word that has a letter N in it, I need you to let them know by giving them the old family feud, so let's try that out all together. Very good. Now, if I hear that, or if I happen to notice an end that you miss, uh, I will rotate them and I will uh, put a little tick on my score pad here. The team that has the least rotations will win this game and win five big points. But you know what? I almost forgot something. And this, this is something, I promised the players that I would do this, so I have to go back and do it. I'm sorry that I missed it the first time. We need to give out some bonus points right here at the beginning of the game, right at the beginning of the match. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do some blind applause. And that just means I'm going to go to each of these players up here, and I want you to applaud for your favorite one, the person that you want to give three bonus points to, okay? You're going to applaud. But you can only vote once, all right? No voting twice, Chicago. You understand? All right, very good. So I'm going to go to each one of them, applaud if that's the person that you want to give the initial points to. If you don't know any of these people, then just pick one. It's totally up to you. This is your prerogative. Let's start over here with Black Square One, Mike McBurney. All right, all right, very good. That was pretty good. How about Black Circle Two, Max? <laughs> What, Brian Gray? Don't worry about it. I know, they, they were expecting Brian, Brian Gray was supposed to be here tonight in VR Black Circle 2, but he... Let's he, hear it for Brian Gray. Yeah, let's hear it for Brian. <laughs> right. um, how about Gold Circle 1, Emily? Yeah. She's winning right now. 
what about gold square two, John? Three points for John Feitner, please. All right. But I can tell you guys this, whoever got the least applause is actually going to get one bonus point, and that goes to Max. So now you can Max. thought you were going to stop him from getting points, but he found a way. Um, all right, very good. So let's get back into this world without a letter thing. To remind you, it is the letter N that we are looking for. Now, at some point, I will switch to the letter L, okay? And if I'm feeling particularly nasty, we'll do both N and L. But we'll start off with just N. Any word that contains the letter N will rotate them out. So um, from my right side over here, give me a suggestion, please, of a place you might go on vacation. The moon. <laughs> you see, you see, what, see what that smart aleck did? All right. All right, so the moon is your suggestion. I need one player from each team on the uh, playing field, please. No letter ends, and begin. Well, here we are. In space. <laughs> Amazed, am I? Oh, I feel like uh, a space guy. <laughs> Rocket ship. Rocking. <laughs> so there's a crater over there. Oh. Yeah. We should study it using our. Oh. <laughs> We should study that crater. Let's do it. Let's, <laughs> Let's walk over there. Here's my space oh. spoon. And spoon rotate. <laughs> fork. Space fork. The space fork. What a mistake you have made. That would just be silly. That would be a space fork. I've never heard of such a. <laughs> I've hardly heard of space forks. <laughs> well, you are like a baby to this Aaron and space program. <laughs> and, yeah, 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 I heard it. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> this fork. Yes? It can be quite... Rotate can. <laughs> be special. Perhaps some space salad? <laughs> some. Yeah, some is to a spell of an M. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, we have to eat. Yes, Pat? <laughs> Once. The... Oh, uh... Once, rotate. <laughs> Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, uh, let's change it. So now you're allowed to say words that have N, but not any word that has L. No L's. Go. Oh, the moon! <laughs> <laughs> I feel as if... <laughs> uh, as if the, the very stars have... Uh, foreseen this expedition? <laughs> that they have. Have they foreseen your murder? What? <laughs> you can't murder me? Uh, oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, what, with that spoon? <laughs> what? I've just been a spoon the whole. <laughs> Spork! <laughs> Space spork! Space spork. Yes. I think that's what you mean. I retrofitted it to go right under your space helmet. That will cause all your oxygen. Rotate all. Yeah. I have a space gun. So ha! <laughs> Where did you acquire that space gun? At the spaceport. Black dirt. <laughs> uh, let's do L and N. <laughs> At the market. <laughs> the 
regular market. <laughs> The mysterious market. <laughs> that market has everything. Yes. Uh, yeah, hey. Happy to see me. You thought we were pals. And brothers. Chums. <laughs> I hate that thing. Alright, you are paying close attention, but you the gold team rotated nine times. Nine times. But the oh, white team only seven. That means five points for both of the team players for the black team. Well done. Well done. Only seven. <laughs> Good job. All right, very good. Uh, now we are going to uh, put the ones against the twos, but we're going to have them actually play in separate games. So the ones are going to play a game for you now. It's called New Choice. And from my left side over here, can I get a suggestion, please, of uh, what is something that uh, you wanted to be when you grew up? Batman. Batman. <laughs> Rock and roll. All right. That sounds pretty good. Oh, just so you guys are aware, um, uh, Mr. Microphone is listening for the suggestion of the night. So uh, he will pick his favorite suggestion, and that person will win a special prize. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, Batman is the suggestion we got. So what's going to happen is the ones are going to do a scene for you. At any time during that scene, I can blow my whistle and say, new choice, at which point they'll replace something they just said, or maybe something they just did, with something new and entirely different. But their suggestion is Batman. Players, I'm going to give you no more than four minutes for this game of new choice. And go. Robin. What are you doing here? Oh boy, you uh, you forgot to gargle again, huh, Bruce? <laughs> well, uh, did you bring me my Listerine? <laughs> yes, it's the purple kind, like you like. I know it's uh, low alcohol, the best. Right, right. <laughs> Don't want to be drunk while fighting crime. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Crime is serious. I, I, new choice. Crime needs fresh breath. <laughs> sure does. Sure does. That's what you've taught me from the get-go. And, and Alfred drums into my head every night. Uh, oh, oh. Um, I also got you some floss. New choice. I, uh, I also got you this special facial soap for your jaw. <laughs> You know, it's just hanging out there, and everything else is covered up. You know, you get in one of those big fights, and you get burning smear marks all over here, and, you know, I mean, you can barely see you. You just look like you turn into a bat. It's all over. That's the idea. Oh! Smart. You're smart, sir. I, uh, hope to one day achieve... Oh. <laughs> the bat gargle. Ah! <laughs> New reaction. <laughs> just like, just like I taught you. Yes. Yes. The, the baby bird <laughs> takes off the, the bat. Yeah, I know. I got it. I got it. All right. So. Now we're ready to fight crime. It's, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, meant to tell you about this report card I got the other day. New choice. <laughs> I, uh, I found this dead rat. <laughs> New choice. Um, Alfred gave me these boxer briefs. <laughs> uh, he, he said he thinks I'd look better in these than the tights. Oh, yes, well, I think boxer briefs are much more supportive of your, your man parts. Yeah. New choice! <laughs> I believe that Alfred has a, a stock in hay, so that's why he wants you to wear them. <laughs> All right. Uh, th it's kind of weird that they have little robins on them. Um, it doesn't really seem to strike fear, you know, but you're saying I should go with it. You chose that name. 
I, yeah, yeah. Well, there were like two slips of paper in the hat, and God only knows what the other one was. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I do feel a little. Yeah. <laughs> okay. New, uh, whatever that was. <laughs> this thing. So I'll stand on the roof, and I'll leap at the first person we see. Yes. Okay. New choice, Emily. <laughs> You're going to leap at the 80th person you see. <laughs> New choice. You will leap before you see the person. You will leap at a baby. <laughs> New choice. <laughs> you will not leap, you will fly. Fly into the air like the robin bird that you are. I have faith in you, my son. So, so my next mentorship is with Superman? That's real cool. Oh, oh, the yes, yeah, I shouldn't have said that. I know you, you guys have beef. Sorry. We uh. have a cow, yes. <laughs> like a literal cow? Yes, there's a dispute about a cow. Is it a bat cow or a super cow? A cow had wings. Uh, Holy hell! Wait, new choice, Emily. <laughs> The cow was shipped to Gotham, and it was radioactive. New choice. <laughs> there was no cow. It was a figurative cow. You should have sent me a cow from his farm. Oh, right. Right. Smallville. It's a super cow, I guess, for the record. <laughs> no, it, was, it should have been super cow. should have been super Right. So I'll fly. I'll fly and probably crash. New choice. I'll fly in the boxers, and I'll, uh... New choice. <clears throat> I'll fly, fall, get up, run a while, jump, try to fly again, and then I'll, like, do a tuck and roll and back into the launch position. New choice. <laughs> you know, fuck this, Bruce. <laughs> Robin got his. Um, where is the number judge? Where's my number judge? Number judge. Very good. Please keep that game in mind. You're about to see a game from the twos, and you're going to have to pick which one you like better, all right? So the twos now are going to play a game for you, and we call that game Tagline. Now, for this particular game, we're actually going to need a little bit of help. You can see that the players are putting some chairs up here, and we need some people to come up and sit in these chairs for us. So who would like to come up and sit in uh, in one of these chairs? Yeah, all right. Come on up here. Come on up. Just, oh yeah, alright, come on up. Give a round of applause. Very good. Come on up here. Very good. And uh, what is your name? George. Everyone say hi, George. Hi, hi George. George. There you go. Very good. And you? Remy. Everyone say yo, Remy. Yo, yo Remy. Remy. Very good. So Remy and George are about to uh, help out the twos. What they're going to do is, throughout this scene, the twos are going to occasionally not know what to say next. And so they're going to come over and they're going to just tap them on the shoulder. And when they do tap them on the shoulder, Remy or George are just going to fill in the next word that they would say. It doesn't need to necessarily make sense, just the next thing's in your head, right? So for instance, they might be like, oh, I'm really hungry. I could really go for some oranges. Oranges. <laughs> oh, no, no, we're all out of oranges. I'll have to have pineapple. Pineapple. See? You see how that works? Very good. Now, both of those make perfect sense. Had they not, that would have been fine. So it doesn't really, whatever you guys say, they're the ones that have to make it make sense. So don't you worry about that, okay? All right, very good. Uh, from my right side over here, can I get a suggestion, please, of um, what is a place you would go where there would be a lot of people? Movie theater. Movie theater, very good. Movie theater is your suggestion. The game is tagline, no more than four minutes, and go. Sir, you're making a scene. <laughs> I always make a scene. I'm an actor. I make scenes. Okay, well, you're in the theater. The actors on the screen are the ones entertaining. I'm an actor. I belong at the theater. 
sir, I, I don't get paid enough to complain to you, but in order to get my job, I need you to please quiet down, sit down, and enjoy this lovely movie of... Monster Truck. Monster Trucks. <laughs> <laughs> trucks that literally turn into monsters. <laughs> there are no real actors in it, it's all CGI, but sir, the people who made this film, who s s did years of work... I know! They I know about the commitment that it takes. I'll be quiet, okay? Thank you, sir. You know, I'm just going to sit here, you know, eat my baby giraffe. Baby giraffe? <laughs> sir, you can't bring outside food into the theater. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, tie her up outside? <laughs> Someone might take her. I, I don't know that anyone really wants a small giraffe that you clearly came to eat. <laughs> <laughs> sir, I, I, I have to ask my manager. I'm pretty sure you have to take it outside, tie it to that. Obstacle course. That obstacle course out there. It can enjoy itself, running around and all the and whatnot. It can't really do the, the low balance beam thing. It'll knock its head right off. <laughs> she probably would enjoy it. All right, I'll, I'll take her to the obstacle course. I'm just tired here for now. Thank you very much, sir. I, I, I don't want to be disrespectful. I, I loved you in that movie, The Queen and the... Shoe. Queen and the Shoe. Mm. I you were the shoe. You were so great as the shoe. <laughs> Not my best shoe roll. But maybe second or third best. You know, I, I my favorite role I think was a uh, a time to Darkwing Duck. A time to Darkwing Duck. <laughs> because it was about. Sorry, I'm 15. I've never heard of this strange thing. To talk about. <laughs> what? You don't remember the the song? D -d oh wait, that's the other duck show. <laughs> there were two duck shows. There were many duck shows. <laughs> Sir, I only know Pokemon. I can't help you. Well, well duck shows were big. You should... <laughs> That's great, sir. Fantastic. Brush up. I prefer my shows that have... General Sows. General Sows chicken in them. <laughs> I, I have no room for another bird in my cartoon life, sir. You kids and your cultural appropriation of Chinese dishes. <laughs> the Asian influence is big in my generation. Yes, well... You know what else is big with your generation? Giant? Glass marbles. Glass marbles. <laughs> uh, those are awesome, sir. <laughs> well, why do they have to be so big? Oh, uh, because bigger is better. When I, when what I do was... you want, some tiny little... Weddings. Wedding? <laughs> uh, uh, we're getting together, we're making a family. Uh, uh, nuclear family. Blah, blah, blah. No, sir. We are single and we're smashing giant glass marbles together. Because <laughs> that's the millennials, damn it. You millennials. <laughs> we don't give a damn about nothing. You don't, you, you don't give a damn about nothing? No. You should. There's one thing you should give a damn about. If you don't give a damn about anything else, you should give a damn about. Hoop and stick. Hoop and stick. <laughs> when I was a kid, we had a hoop, we had a stick. And that was all we needed. We just, we just roll it. And chase it with a stick. And something it could come back to you if you did like this. It could come back to you. Oh, that like, sounds like this online game I play. Uh, angry Duck. Duck. <laughs> and cover, because nuclear bombs are falling. What? <laughs> hey, we're millennials. We love supreme violence. I, I don't understand. You shoot the duck over over there and what with I... the nuclear weapon and it just blows everything up. You know, when I was a kid, the bomb was a bad thing. You know, if you said something was the bomb, that meant it was ball and cup. Ball and cup. <laughs> Different from hoop and stick. Ball and cup. Sucks. That is time. That is what they used to do. All right, uh, it is now time to award some points based on uh, the judge back there. She's going to tell us who is going to win those points. But before you do, and I will tell you when to show us, before you do, you get to tell her whether you th you, who you think should get the points. Should it be the ones that did that game of new choice or the twos that did that game of tagline? Tell her now, one or two. <laughs> Show us who's going to get those points. One, two, three. The twos. Three points, please. The twos. Three points.
points each to the twos as, uh, oh my goodness, all right, very good. So, wow, Max, oh, oh, yeah, audience favorite Max is in the lead. How do you guys feel about that? Yeah, right? <laughs> and you have all the power, boy, I think you're going to really regret it. All right. Hey, uh, Matt. Yeah, oh, uh, hey, Mr. Mike. Yeah, yeah, we need a little clarification sure. on the uh, suggestion front. Um, sure, no problem. Uh, who gave the uh, Batman suggestion? Where's Batman? Yeah. Okay, so clarification which Batman are you referring to from the movies? Holy cow. Batman movies? Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. All right, thank okay. you. <laughs> 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 we're, we're in Pittsburgh now. Yeah, I know we're in Pittsburgh. We're in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Michael Keaton's the only guy. Yeah. 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 All right, very good. We are going to have a game now for all four competitors to play. That is the game that is called Last Second Expert. And the way that it's going to work is all four of the players are going to be up here. One of them is going to be in front talking about a particular topic. And from my left side over here, give me a hobby one of you actually has. Crocheting. Crocheting. Very good. So somebody's going to be up here talking about crocheting, all right? At any point, any of the other players can challenge what has been said. If I approve that challenge, the person who challenged will take over, and then they will continue talking. I'm going to put a minute and 30 seconds on my clock, and at the end of that time, whoever is up here in the front is going to win five points. All right? So let's get all the players up here. And uh, Emily, you are currently trailing, so I'm going to allow you to start. So go ahead, step right up there. The game is Last Second Expert. Your subject is crocheting, I believe, and go. Crocheting is a wonderful hobby. It is one of the greatest hobbies in the world because you can do it by yourself. You don't have to talk to anybody. You don't have to see anybody. Challenge. Yes, crocheting is naturally a team sport. Oh. Okay, I'd like to hear about that. Go ahead, tell me, tell me why, please. Now, the best way to crochet, now we train alone, but really it's a team sport because you want one person on one stick, one person on the other stick, or needles, as they are known in the biz. And you want to be in capatico, that's a word I made up, <laughs> with your partner, because you want to build a sweater together, or a afghan, or perhaps uh, a, a hat. One minute letter, kind of getting really, really close. Because uh, you want to be uh, uh, in the same line. So the best way to do it is to sleep together. Challenge. Uh, yes, Mike? The best way to do it is to eat together. Oh, okay, go ahead, Mike. Yeah, um, so you actually trade off, so with the needles, what you really need is you want to have someone who is excellent with sushi um, or other types of food that requires chopsticks um, so that you can trade the needles back and forth. One person always has the needles, one person always has the chopsticks. Or, challenge. You... Sharing needles is dangerous. Yeah, it is. Go ahead. <laughs> So really, you just want to have your own needle. You're going to put your name on it, uh, and perhaps you want to put like a biz name on it, like a nickname, 30 like seconds. The Flame, or The Needler. Uh, and then you, know, you don't ever want to trade, because you want to work with the item you know. Because when you're in that competition, when you're out there on the stage, and you're crocheting, 20 a giant audience, you want to make sure that you are in the zone. And the only way to be in the zone is 15. to stay in the zone all the time. In your everyday life, you must uh, focus. Challenge. Yes. You must actually achieve a zen-like chaos. Oh, which is different from focus. Um, I don't think so. Sir. <laughs> there are ten seconds left. Go. And once you're in that focus, you will begin to build. Now you always start with the right-handed player. Oh, challenge! Uh, <laughs> Emily, you do not start with the right hand. You start with the left foot. Oh, okay. Go ahead, take over. Uh, six seconds. For an entertaining challenge competition with crocheting, you always do it with your foot because a dexterous foot. That is time. One minute thirty seconds. Five points, please. Five, five points, points to uh, to Emily. Wow. Well, okay. Five that was uh, points. not a highly contested thing. Um, <laughs> I guess all of that is true. What you just heard. So <laughs> go home and, and and edit the Wikipedia article. Um, cool. You guys can sit down. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> now stand back up. You what I did there? All right. Sit down. Stand up. No, sit down. Really seriously. Sit down. No, seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Try to hijack my show. All right, um, we're going to uh, 
It is. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna pit the circles against the squares now. It's a shape round. Uh, so shape judge, where you at? Shape judge, shape judge. Very good. Um, please uh, keep a very close eye on these two games. And um, color judge, don't you worry. We're we're coming to you soon. All right. You ready? You're gonna be ready for that, right? Okay. Good. Um, so we're gonna start off with the squares. The squares gonna play a game for you. that's called changing styles. And uh, for that particular game, we need to get some styles from you. So um, let me start off with uh, over here on my left side. Give me some uh, types of movies that you've seen, like film genres. Noir. Okay, film noir. Sci-fi. Sci-fi. Yeah. Horror. Horror. Tentacular acid trip. What? <laughs> Can I hear that again? Oh, Technicolor acid, acid trip. Sure, sure. No, I've seen a bunch of those. <laughs> Porn. Parody. Porn. <laughs> Parody. Thank you so much. Well. <laughs> <laughs> that... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of lines here, but that's one of them. Enough, <laughs> Phil. I'll put it. I'll put it in. <laughs> um, uh, over here on this side, let's get some uh, literature styles. Shakespeare. Doctor Seuss. Seuss. And that, that's it. Okay. <laughs> A lot of reading going on over there. Uh, you guys have any more literature styles than those? Shakespeare? Chaucer. What's that? Chaucer? Chaucer. Okay, uh, well, let's, let's talk about styles too, not just uh, authors. Historical, Historical fiction. fiction, thank you. Did I hear romance? Period. What's that? Romantic period. Romantic period, okay. Uh, yes, it is. Choose your own adventure. I heard Ooh. hooked on phonics and choose your own adventure. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Work for That's me. the snuff film of literature. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your hand. Who gave up the products? There you go. Um, on this side, uh, give me some um, uh, like television show styles. Scooby Doo. Scoop. That's a specific. <laughs> but I won't put cartoon. <laughs> Game show. Mystery. Mystery. Reality. Reality. Cooking. Okay. Soaps. Cooking. Soaps. Now we're just naming things in the kitchen. <laughs> cool. All right, very good. I think that will be enough. So what's going to happen here is the uh, the two, or I'm sorry, the squares, not the twos, the squares. I have two and then I got confused. The squares are going to be doing a scene for you. And any time during that scene, I can shout out one of these styles, and the, the scene will change into that particular style. All right? They'll start off neutral, but then they'll change into a bunch of different styles. So um, from the right side over here, give me a suggestion, please, of a um, what is something you might find in your attic? I will eat that now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty certain she wants to get suggested tonight, uh, but she did just say Michael Keaton's Batman. So, um, <laughs> that's right. Um, so, gentlemen, I, I do I do encourage you to avoid the same Batman uh, type of scene that we just saw. But Michael Keaton's Batman is your suggestion for the game of Styles. And uh, oh, I'll give you uh, no more than four minutes and go. Oh, look at all these childhood video cassettes. Oh my god, that's amazing. The Sandlot. Yeah? The Goonies. Oh, Cocoon! <laughs> <laughs> what? You never understood that, man. It's I about like... old people. Ain't aliens? Yes. It's got Gutenberg. <laughs> the Goop! What does it have? <laughs> Michael Keaton? No. I mean, I have Mr. Mom. Do you have Mr. Mom? You seem to like adulty stuff. I'm a cocoon and Mr. Mom. It's all about old people and or parents. Horror. Yes. Well, perhaps you'll enjoy Batteries not included then. <laughs> Why is it bleeding? <laughs> What's going on? This was cursed by Jessica Tandy herself. <laughs> it's, just, look, it's just a ring. Oh. They say if you watch it, Hume Cronin kills you in your sleep and dreams. <laughs> Historical fiction! <laughs> yeah. Brother? Or should I say, bastard brother? <laughs> oh, I don't like the cut of your jib. Well, I don't like the cut of the iron mask you put me in. <laughs> We're lucky the Nazis won the first World War II. <laughs> 
War II went to the Egyptians, as everyone knows, because of the AK-47. We're lucky they won, because now I can kill you for trying to kill me. Chaucer, the first actual fart. <laughs> Trip. Oh. Oh. I say, my plums have smacked you together. <laughs> and say unto you, ahahaha. <laughs> Mystery! Where did you get the plums from? Huh? <laughs> yeah, riddle me that. Listen, man, you can't get anything out of me. I can't tell you where the plums came from. Oh, yeah. You got nothing on me, man. You got nothing. And those plums were insured, weren't they? What? Three thousand dollars each. You followed the money, didn't you? you oh, followed yeah, that's the right. money. I followed the money. How dare you? Right back to you. Choose your own adventure. <laughs> well, why don't you follow the money to this? Oh! Now back to page 32, so that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. I could have followed the money, or I just used this dog. Dr. Seuss. Well, that's no dog. That's a flabbermongoose. A flabbermongoose likes plums from the moose. And its color is chartreuse. But its sexuality is quite loose. <laughs> but its mystery-solving skills are profuse. Film noir. <laughs> The last flabbermagoose I ever saw around these parts it was a hell of a thing. It was a hard drinking flabbermagoose too, and he knew it. I'd seen him iron it up every week down a rainy street corner. Porn Shakespeare. <laughs> Why shalt thou fight with me, brother? <coughs> Will thou but lay upon the floor with me? <laughs> and make as does the meadow does and roll. <laughs> roll under the mist of the moon and bring delights to all those who enter it. Forsooth, thou wouldst with me the double-backed beast make. <laughs> and see me for an ass before my friends. Uh, romantic period, and of course, cooking and soap operas, uh, all excellent suggestions. That it was not... quite romantic. <laughs> there was romance, it just wasn't that romance. All right, very good. Um, that was the squares. Please keep that in mind. Now, the circle's going to play a game for you that is called Fairy Tale Countdown. Uh, for that, for my left side over here, I need the name of a traditional fairy tale. Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and the Beanstalk was the first one that I heard. Jack and the Beanstalk. So what's going to happen here is the, uh, the circles are going to present to you the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. They're going to do that in uh, just one minute and 30 seconds. Okay? It's a fairly condensed version. But the key is this. After they do it in a minute 30, I'm going to make them do it in half that time, only 45 seconds. Now, the way we're going to tell them about that is I'm going to come out to you. I'm going to say, was that fast enough for you? And you're going to go, no. So let's try that out. Was that fast enough for you? No. no. And yell, faster. Faster. It's exactly your job in this game. Their job is to do this uh, in one minute, 30 seconds, and then half that time. So the story of Jack and the Beanstalk in one minute and 30 seconds. Players, go. Jack, I'm so old, and we're poor. Oh, we are so poor, my mother. What can we do? You, you, you're just going to have to take this cow. Oh, but I love this cow. Well, it's just a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Get over it. You're going to you're gonna have to sell it for uh, some, some farthings or something. <laughs> OK, I'll take you. All right, I'll go to the market, make sure you get some money and, you know, nothing else. Okay. Nope, no beans. <laughs> oh, I got a cow there, eh? Yes, she's beautiful. Oh, yeah, I'll she's take your cow. Oh, I must sell her. Well, it's just a cow. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I have to these magic beans, yeah? Oh. yeah you, should plan, I... you should plan them. Yeah. How, how do I know that they are magic? Because uh, I told you. 
<laughs> and you traded your loved cow for it, so they must be good. Otherwise, we'll just be getting beans. Seems to be a reasonable deal, sir. Yeah. Goodbye, my love. I will see you in the future. All right. <laughs> Beans. I'm, I'm just over you. <laughs> beans. Beans. I love you, Beans. <laughs> oh my goodness! Up there, I imagine that there are riches. I'm gonna <laughs> Wow, you're really high up for a person. <laughs> more than that, so. Uh, now, they actually didn't take a minute 30, they took two minutes to tell you that part, that part of the story. Um, I mean, that whole story. And um, so now, uh, they're gonna tell you that same part of that, that entire story in half that time, because was that fast enough for you? No! Yeah. Yeah, faster! Faster! All right, do that same thing in one minute, go! Jack, Jack we're poor, you need to sell this cow. All right, well, I'm in love with the cow, but I'll sell it. It's just a cow, get over it. <laughs> Oh, I got a cow there, eh? Uh, yes, I'm in love with this cow, but but oh. I, will, I will sell him to you for a price, a good price. Oh, well, a good price. I see. Like, because you love it here, I'll give you these magic beans. Oh. They're real great, and they're, you know your cow's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, just... okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you have there? What I have this? I have beans here. What beans? This is money. I hate you. They're, ma oh. <laughs> they're magical. I'm going to plant them. Oh my gosh! Look at this giant plant that I'm going to climb to the heavens. <laughs> Wow, you were really high up for a person. Yeah. Tell you who they think should get it. Circle or square? Tell her now! On the count of three, show us who's getting those points. One, two, three! Squares! Three points for the squares, please! Three points for the squares. All right, very good. So that is uh, Mike and John are getting those three points. There we go. Oh, all right. It is pretty close. Emily. Yeah. Here. What's up, man? Emily, you're trailing right now. Yeah. But you're still covering the spread, so well done. <laughs> um, listen, uh, I'm going to actually give you a chance to take the lead. Whoa. How's that sound? That sounds great. Yeah, pretty good. Um, you're going to play the game of five things. Okay. Yeah, you ready for that? So. Okay, cool, cool. But in order to play that, uh, you have to leave. Yeah. yeah, so everybody say, bye, Emily! Bye, bye Emily! Emily. And she goes, give her two applause, she goes on out. So we're going to play the game of five things. The 
way this is going to work is that um, they're going to try to get, they're going to, bye everybody. <laughs> That's it for the show. Good night, everyone. Good night. See, this is where we all leave. We all go out the back and everyone stands out there all the time. No, her parents are here, so it's really cool. Um, <laughs> what's going to happen is uh, they're going to try to get Emily to do five very active activities. And um, she's not in the room, so she can't hear them. We're going to get the suggestions from you, and then they're going to try to get her to do them. Um, so, uh, oh, you guys got a board. Cool. <laughs> awesome. And you got, oh, look at that. A marker and everything. It's right on the board. So, excellent. Oh, all right. Please. Does one of you have good handwriting? Does anyone have good handwriting? Uh, sure. Yeah? Oh, sure. <laughs> he has nice handwriting, but can't spell for shit. Hey. <laughs> it is actually the opposite of that, I'm pretty certain. But um, let's go over here and uh, start off. Let's get an activity. Uh, what is a sport you've seen on television? Field hockey. Field hockey. What channel were you? What, never <laughs> Oh, the Ocho. Oh, the Ocho. All right. Over here. Everyone is like, I saw that movie. Um, over here, uh, the field hike is a team sport. Give me a one-on-one -on -one sport. Ping pong was the first one that I got. Ping pong. Uh, back over here on this side, how about a, uh, an activity that kids play on the playground? Squat thrust. Squat thrust? <laughs> That's not really a game, that's like the presidential fitness test. Um, what's, what is it? Tag. Tag. Alright, very good. Tag. It tag or tag. Uh, over here on this side, give me a suggestion please of a, uh, an activity that you would do like on a... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, only in the winter time. Snowboarding. Snowboarding. Beat out skiing by just a little bit. Just happening every year. Um, and over here on this side, uh, how about a game show you've seen on the TVs? The price is right. The price is right. Cool. All right, so these are five activities that um, the players are going to try to get Emily to do. Play field hockey, play ping pong, play tag, play, uh, go snowboarding, and then uh, be on the price is right. But Emily is an expert at this game. She has played it twice. So we're going to make it a little bit more difficult on her. Um, she's going to be playing field hockey, but instead of using a stick, from over here we're going to replace that stick with something that you might find in your garage that isn't a car. What is it? Lawn mower. Very good. The stick is a lawn mower. Awesome. Over here on this side, uh, field hockey is played with a ball. We'll take that ball out of there. Let's replace it with um, your favorite thing to order at McDonald's. What is it? French fries. French fries. French fries. Cool. Um, back over here on this side, or maybe freedom fries. I don't want to judge. Uh, over here on this side, uh, it's ping pong. Uh, we'll take that paddle out of there and we'll replace it with an animal that is smaller than a dog. What animal is it? Beaver. 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 Depends on the dog, depends on the beaver, but that's fine. Over here on this side, um, the, uh, the table that she is playing on is not going to be a table. Instead, it is going to be um, what, uh, something you might find in a museum. Dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones. <laughs> cool. Uh, over here, she's playing tags. But um, normally you play tag like out on the playground or whatever. She's going to be playing tag um, at what uh, famous landmark? The Was it the White House? Oprah's house. Oh, Oprah's house? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you write that down, where's Oprah's house? Okay, but that's not a landmark. <laughs> Can I say that she's playing with Oprah? Okay, cool. She's playing with Oprah. Okay. Yeah, she's with Oprah, but the playground we will take, I heard somebody said the Washington Monument. Somebody say that? Okay. Uh, White House? What do you guys want? White House or Washington Monument? Come on, make your choices. It's our choice. White House? White House. White House. Yeah, White House. All right, White House it is. All right. <laughs> At the White House with Oprah, which that's a, certainly a possible thing that could happen. Um, cool. Uh, all right, she is going to be snowboarding over here, but uh, we're going to take that board out of there. <laughs> Just with opera, keep going. With opera, nice. Uh, I guess you were right about that spelling thing. Oh no, you were saying that, never mind. Um, I don't know where I am. Over here, she's snowboarding, but the board, we're gonna take that board out of there. Let's replace it with your favorite dessert. Lava cake. Lava cake. Lava cake. Lava cake. <laughs> Over here on this side, the snow is not gonna be snow. No, instead it's gonna be a substance you'd never want to touch. What should lava. it be? Uh, where I have lava cake. <laughs> Sulfur's kind of like lava. Anything else that you wouldn't want to touch? Just sulfur and lava? Spiders. Oh, I'm taking spiders. I'm taking spiders. Um, but uh, I did hear uranium, so for our next one, The Price is Right, that wheel is going to be made of uranium. 
uranium. Very good. And uh, from over here, the host of The Price is Right is going to be... Uh, Batman! <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Uh, we're going to make it a uh, famous historical figure, though. Who should it be? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Abe Lincoln. Very good. <laughs> All right. So we have some great uh, suggestions here. Uh, let's review them now. Uh, first of all, she's going to be playing field hockey. The stick is a lawnmower and the ball is fries. Everyone say, ooh. <laughs> yeah. uh, she's playing ping pong. The paddle is a beaver and the table are dinosaur bones. Say, ah. ah. Right. Uh, she's playing tag. The playground is the White House and she is with Oprah. Everyone say, whoopee. Whoopee. Uh, she's snowboarding. The board is lava cake. <laughs> and the snow is spiders. Everyone say, oh, no. Oh, no. She's on the Price is Right. The wheel is uranium, and the host is Abe Lincoln. Everyone say, I cannot tell a lie. I cannot tell a lie. Yeah, that was Washington, right? But they're both honest. I don't get it. <laughs> the values of this country. Um, going right to hell. All right, so uh, that is, that's it. So they're going to have to try to get uh, Emily to do these five activities with those modifications. But here's the deal. They can't use English or any known language. They can only use mime and gibberish in order to do this. So your job is going to be to give Emily some encouragement. If it looks like she's on the right track, you're going to give her a little golf clap. Let's hear a little golf clap. Very nice, very nice. If I ask her one of these and she gets all three parts correct, you're going to go crazy. Let's hear what that sounds like. Yeah. Crazy. All right, good. So for each one of these that she gets right, she will earn a possible two points for, or I'm sorry, she will earn two points for each one she gets right for a possible total of 10 big points. But judges, please keep your eyes on the people giving the clues because the people who give the best clues are going to earn some bonus points as well. That way they have some incentive to help Emily. Otherwise, they would just be like, stand here and go, I don't know. <laughs> and that wouldn't help her very much at all. And it would make for a very game. So, um, on the count of three, we need to get Emily back in the room. Everyone say, hey, Emily. One, two, three. Hey, hey Emily! We have some great suggestions here. Uh, I wish you luck with them because they're not easy suggestions. Uh, sorry you guys can't see the board very well, but if I turn it too much, she'll see it when she moves around. So um, that is how it's going to go. Emily, you have no more than five minutes to do all of these. Players, begin. <laughs> Lawnmowers. Yeah, it was a lawnmower. A lawnmower. <laughs> he 
you guys writing down anything? Or no. <laughs> okay. Oh, from memory. All right. And good luck.
Emily, I'm going to give you one chance to guess what it is that you are doing here. What is happening? I'm on The Price is Right. Yes. Uh, I don't know what the second thing is, but did I win the arc from Indiana Jones? <laughs> <laughs> I can certainly see where you would have. Actually, the wheel was made of uranium and the host was... Abraham Lincoln, but you got two of these for four big points. Give her four points, please. <laughs> nicely done, nicely done. Come on back up here, competitors. Uh, judges, I told you you have a chance to give out some bonus points as well. So on the count of three, you're going to show me on your paddle the color, shape, or number of the person you thought who gave the best clues. All right? So look at the person that you think gave the best clues. If you have the shape, are they wearing circle or square? If you have number, are they wearing one or two? If you have color, are they wearing black or gold? You're going to hold that up for me on the count of three. Your favorite person. Here we go. One, two, three. Let me see it. I got two. I got gold. I got square. That means two points for gold. Ooh. Square two, please. Woo! Yeah. You didn't know it was going to work that way, but then it did, and that's the way it works. So, um... <laughs> We, uh, let's see, how we doing here? How we doing? All right, we got, oh, 11 to 9 to 9 to 8. Well, that's pretty close. All right, we are going to move into a round now for all of the players. Judges, once again, you are going to be picking your favorite flavor. What? You are going to be picking your favorite player. <laughs> that was the remix. Um, and uh, we're going to play a game for you right now because it is St. Patrick's Day. We're going to play Irish drinking song. So uh, I need all the players to come up here, please. They're going to stand here next to each other. They're about to sing a song for you one line at a time as they move down here. And um, the topic of this particular uh, song from over here, something that you are afraid of, but maybe you shouldn't be. Ketchup. 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 <laughs> that means this Irish drinking song is going to be about ketchup. Uh, judges, please keep your eyes on these players because you're going to pick your favorite. Ketchup is the drinking song. Let's start. Uh, we'll start down there and we'll move right down this direction. All right, you guys ready? Sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, and you guys can feel free to join in uh, because every uh, every now and again they're gonna go, die 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 die, and if you want to join in on that, you go right ahead. All right, players, take it away. Well, I bought myself a burger and it felt a little flat. I brought it back to the man at the counter and he tried to snap me. He told me that you can't return a sandwich on this day. I said that's funny and you've got a lot of acne. I went to a different store to find a better burger. He told me that the burgers here are really, really great. I didn't think that he was right, so I went on outside. But I could not get anywhere because I was late. Oh, lie di 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 I love ketchup. It's my favorite of the sauce. I think I will get some and I'll have in some the mines. <laughs> I will put it on my burger. It will taste so fine. And then I will see a movie because it is so fine. Oh, lie di 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 this burger has become a very difficult thing for me. <laughs> I wish I'd gotten something more simple. <laughs> <laughs> but we're still here singing for you, and we love you all so much. I eat my burgers every day, and though I don't know why. Oh, I did, 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 I Very good. One more for you right here, over here on this side. Um, or you guys just gave me the suggestion. I'm sorry. I'm over here on this side. Uh, something that you are afraid of, but maybe you shouldn't be. Oranges. <laughs> you should be afraid of death and divorce. Did you say oranges? Purple oranges. Purple oranges. Okay. The reason he gave that suggestion is because purple and orange are the two words that have no rhymes. Um, so. <laughs> See, he thinks he's very clever. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to take the suggestion of purple oranges regardless because I think the players can handle it. I think you can handle it, right? They can handle it. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, change up your order a little bit, please. Change up your order a little bit here. And uh, let's, let's try this again. And um, let's do it in kind of, uh, let's, let's kind of divide up the work a little bit, all right? So uh, rather than just doing a verse that just goes through once, it's a verse that'll go through twice. So just do kind of half a line, half a line, half a line, half a line. Does that make sense? All right, very cool. Or uh, purple oranges. Purple oranges is this one. And take it away, players. Oh, I went down to Florida. 
to buy some oranges. I went to a uh, man and then went to orphanages. I saw something there that was quite queer looking. I didn't know what it was, and so I said I would have night. <laughs> would have liked to have known what it was. Oh, I love citrus. It is really grand. I put it in a jar. And I made it bend. <laughs> yep. I, I make some great juice. It's all full of purple. <laughs> And then I rhyme with oos. And something else was purple. Oh, I This is the most bizarre fruit that I have ever drunk. I think I might take it to a scientist. And ask him why it stunk. I wonder what he'll tell me. I think he'll say, get out. I might tell him I found it, but... I gave him a big clout. Oh, I di 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 di. When I go for breakfast, I see my mother there. I tell her, "Why are you here? And what have you done to your hair?" <laughs> she says, "I added some dye." And I tell her, "It's great." I really didn't think so. <laughs> but why well, be so late? Oh, I di 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 di. Oh, I di 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 di. Again, your favorite players, either color, number, or shape. Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three, let me see it. We got circle, we got gold, and we got, you gotta pick one or the other. Two, gold, circle two. Well, there is no gold, circle two, so that means for everybody that has circle, gold, or two, give them all three points. Yeah, everybody's got gold, circle, or two. That means, uh, no, I, you son of a. <laughs> Sorry there, Mike. All right, very good, and uh, wow, okay. Well, we are now moving into our final game of the match. Oh, I know, I know, but don't worry. You can always come back uh, the 25th to see the finals. Whoever wins tonight will play there, as well as the winners of the past three rounds. Now, for our final round, I do not need our judges. Let's give them another round of applause. Come back and uh, see another show here at the arcade. All right, um, Mr. Microphone, did you have an announcement of some kind? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. Please, some clarification. Who sure. gave this suggestion of purple oranges? Please. Oh, raise purple oranges. That was that uh, gentleman. Yeah, we just deducted 20 points from the audience. Oh, okay, 20 points yeah. from, <laughs> from the audience. the uh, audience because of the know. purple oranges suggestion. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So the rest of you can just, you know, uh, thank him later. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, you guys didn't have any points anyway. So they're, what, negative 20? Negative 20. Negative 20. All right. That's, that's rough. That's rough. You're probably not going to win, but I, I think it's still, it was a good fight. Um, our final game here tonight is the game of sex with me. And uh, let's all go in the back and do that again. <laughs> um, just kidding. Uh, now what we're going to do is the players are going to step forward. We're going to get a suggestion from you, and they're going to tell you why sex with them is like that particular suggestion, all right? For everyone that gets a reaction, uh, be it a laugh, a groan, a titter, a guffaw, any sound from Morpheus above your neck, I will award them one <laughs> tick on my score pad, which will give them one point in the match. So, at this point, it is really anybody's game, except Mike, so. Um, <laughs> no, Mike, you have a chance. You have a real chance. You just gotta... Really? Yeah, you just gotta... Get a bunch of them. Okay. <laughs> and, and break their legs so they can't. Uh, oh, well, sure. All right. Oh, God. Yeah, that's legal. Uh, good. So, uh, let's see here. Before we uh, play this game, though, I think what we should do is um, we should say thank you to a couple of people. I want to give uh, a round of applause to the. Oh, wait. What? Not yet? Not yet? Okay, not yet. I'll do, I'll do it after the game. I'll do it after the game. He's not ready to announce the. Uh, the, the suggestion of the night, so I'll do it after the game. All right, let's start off with the suggestion, and from over here on the right side, uh, give me a suggestion, please, of um, an occupation that works mainly outdoors. Construction. Construction. Construction worker. Very good. Players, sex with me, construction worker. Go. <laughs> sex with me is like a construction worker. It involves yelling at a lot of women. <laughs> sex with me is like a construction worker. You need a hard hat. <laughs> 
Sex with me is like a construction worker, because you're going to want to be part of a union now. <laughs> Sex with me is like a construction worker. There's a lot of debris flying around. Sex with me is like a construction worker, and we need lunch in between at some point. It's mandatory. <laughs> Sex with me is like a construction worker, because there's going to be some power tools. <laughs> Over here on this side, uh, a uh, profession that works mainly indoors. Butcher. 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 <laughs> Go ahead. Sex with me is like a butcher. You're working with a lot of meat. Woo! Sex with me is like a butcher. You get a little bloody. Oh. Oh. Sex, oh. <laughs> Sex with me is like a butcher. There's a cold room and a lot of hooks. <laughs> Sex with me is like a butcher. Take a number. <laughs> want to know that guy before you get involved. Sex with me is like a butcher, you end up putting your hand in a lot of strange places. <laughs> Sex with me is like a butcher, kind of overpriced. <laughs> uh, over here, uh, how about a suggestion of an object that you could buy at Target? Gumball. What's that? Gumball. A gumball. single gumball. A single gumball. <laughs> uh, gumball is a suggestion. Sex with me is like a single gumball, <coughs> deeply unsatisfied. <laughs> Sex with me is like a gumball you can have in her corner. Sex with me is like a gumball, costs 25 cents. <laughs> Sex with me is like a gumball. <laughs> Sex with me is like a gumball, it starts out really hard in your mouth and then it gets softer. <laughs> Sex with me is like a gumball, it starts out so good, but then you get sick of it after like five minutes. <laughs> Sex with me is like a gumball, it's a choking hazard. <laughs> Over here on this side, uh, what's something that you would often see at garage sales? Lamps. Lamps from almost lamps. everyone. Uh, lamp from almost everybody. Lamp. Sex with me is like a lamp. You need one in every room. Sex with me is like a lamp. Turn me on. I'll give you some light. Sex with me is like a lamp. Mine's a three-way. Sex with me is like a lamp. Can't we just read tonight? <laughs> Sex with me is like a lamp, because it'll really brighten your day. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Calm down. Um, over here on this side, uh, what is something that you use every day? Toothbrush. A toothbrush, I heard toothbrush. from a lot of people. Thank you for doing that, too. <laughs> toothbrush. Sex with me is like a toothbrush. No one replaces it until you have to. <laughs> Sex with me is like a toothbrush. After a while, it gets a little cruddy. <laughs> Toothbrush. Sometimes the little hairs get all like weird. And... <laughs> Again, my parents are here tonight. So, uh, from uh, from over here on this side, give me a suggestion, please, of uh, what is um, something you could buy for more than a hundred dollars. Donald Trump. TV. <laughs> no, I'm taking Donald Trump. I gotta hear, I gotta hear this. Sex with me is like Donald Trump. It's going to be great. It's going to be beautiful. We're going to love it. Uh, sex with me is like Donald Trump, I just make everything up as I go along. <laughs> sex with me is like Donald Trump. When you get down to it, you're really going to hate yourself for this. <laughs> I absolutely do. Excellent. Uh, what was interesting about tonight, a lot of our suggestions weren't even used, but they were great suggestions. Okay, okay. It came down to hoop and stick. Oh, which yeah. Which part of the game. That was good, yeah. That was, good, yeah. That was, that was wonderful. One. Yeah. Uh, Technicolor acid trip. Right. Yeah. And Batman, Michael Keaton's Batman. Uh, see, yeah. <laughs> uh, by the lady in the front row. Right. We actually and, had that twice. We had Michael Keaton's Batman twice. Okay, yeah, so then that cancels it out. The winner for tonight is Hoop and Stick. Hoop and stick. Very good. I want to point out that he was also.
also uh, taking color acid trip, right? Yeah. 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 So, uh, wow, he's an all That's right. He's an all-star. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please come to every show. Um, very good. Um, yeah, and a reminder, uh, if you are enjoying this, there are shows at the arcade every Friday, or Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Every Friday and Saturday at 8 and 10. Sundays also at 7. You can come see improv, a lot like what you're seeing up here and some other types of improv. If you like improv, you're looking at it and you're like, boy, I wish I could do that. You can. We teach classes here at the Arcade Academy. Also, we have our new uh, uh, drop-in, pop-in, drop-in, pop-in, drop-in, pop-up, 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 pop-up improv night. You can come to those. Uh, they have boxed wine, Matt. Very, very There's fun. boxed wine. There's boxed wine, boxed too. Boxed wine yeah. at the drop-in. Right. Yeah. There's a gallery crawl going on. We'll be here all night doing shows from uh, 6 o'clock all the way till 9.30. And uh, short form improv, much like you're seeing up here. And there's beer, I believe, right? At the, Absolutely. At the gallery crawl. So come on back and see us again tomorrow. Come see us all the time. Check it all out at arcadecomedytheater.com. And if you like Comedy Royale, go actually like us on Facebook and uh, follow us on Twitter because we'd love to have you. And then you can find out everything that's happening and see uh, who you know who's going to be in the final tournament and everything. Again, Friday, March 25th. We hope to see you all there. All right, let's find out who's going to that tournament as one of the players. Um, let's go ahead and add some points. First of all, for uh, Black Circle 2, please give him six more points. For Black Square 1, please give him 11 more points. 11 more points, very good, very good. For, uh, let's see here. Wait, uh, and then I gotta do. And then I'm doing math in my brain. Good. Okay, great. For uh, gold square two, please give him seven more points. Oh. Seven oh. more points. Oh, Very school. good. And for gold circle one, please give her six more points, oh. meaning our winner is...